Okay, so how are you gonna kill off all these people? Uh, not entirely sure what's gonna happen yet. Oh, well, this is who I am now, but I really gotta pee. Yeah, just clear my throat. Words. You know the business. Throat. Throat. Kicked my desk and I sat down. Her name's Abigail. I didn't mean to. This is Abigail. Abigail's my favorite. Why? I don't know. I'm killing her off. I swear to fucking god, Dave. <laughs> right now. I'll get us evicted. <laughs> hey there, party bear. Status report? We hey are there, officially party bear. High five up top. <laughs> Miss oh, it on purpose. too slow. Really? Oh boy. What's going on, party bear? You're about to get your bear. phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito-infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. Yeah, party bear. Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key. Shape our destiny. Fuck. And by shape right, our destiny, I mean They're fucking. shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Which one of them? Okay. Let's do it. We better not get into trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? I'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One. Two. Three! Ugh. Mm. All about the power. Of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. <sighs> Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh, my God, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. Room 10. Isn't, is that the same? No. The, I am Abigail. The chick that just left was Emma, the one who dumped Jacob. Bitch. All right, but what about what about the very first people we? Oh, they're probably both dead. Huh. I mean, the one the Why boyfriend. This place to be is in the news. Dead. Uh. The girl just got drugged. Freak show oh, goes up in flames. Stayed. Okay, so that's gonna be like the miners getting corrupt, uh, buried under everything. Why is it always some type of ski lodge or a fucking camp? I can't believe I'm actually it's gonna miss all those movie so. springs. Yeah. Uh, typical place to be cut off without like much technology. Shitty reception, Aww. hours away from this little Izzy's. anywhere relevant. I wanna play a game! <laughs> Why are places so weird? Uh, You're leaving this demon doll here, right? 
Nah, keep that shit, bro. Mm -hmm. Let's get you back, Tizzy. Yeah, this dog's gonna get me killed. I'm OP, bro. I'm OP. Uh oh, path updated. So you have chosen death. Mm. Did it say how long camp was? Was that like all summer? It seemed like a week. We go What's up happening here? in a week? God dang it. I like our backpack. Who too? Oh fuck, she stuffed that bunny in there. <laughs> that tiny ass backpack. It's like a bag of holding in D&D. About the same size as a woman's pocket. It's gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcement. There's something in the window, I missed that. I didn't see it either. I think it was just a crow. I don't know, it made it seem like there was something in the window, but I could be wrong. It made the little sound, like you should be spooked. Yeah. I mean, crows are supposed to be considered spooky. I don't think you guys can say that. Well, I mean, they bring doom, essentially. I really mean magic, actually. <clears throat> but I think a lot of people, it's like black cats, they just associate it that way. Are we going this way? Harbinger Motel. Okay. <laughs> For <laughs> summer. <laughs> anyway. so Jacob hasn't seen this. I wonder if. <sighs> No matter what you choose, if you ever go there at all, or if you always end up coming here. I don't think you ever had a Ew, choice. What is to that? Or not, or is it Dylan's? <laughs> yeah, if you're compliant, he probably still would have given you directions, but told you where it was. You're probably still like, fuck that, we're going to the place anyway. Yeah. And I'm thinking. Nice campsite. It is. Huh. The Swift Shot emblem gives them range? Yes. It's like sniper pressure. Huh. Just snagged that bitch. Lee Sin was just fucking sniping me from across the map. Just booting my face. Boofing? Boofing it. Can I go around here? Okay. This chick looks familiar. I also keep thinking she's like the one chick who got introduced in uh, Sweet Life on Deck. Ready to roll? Yeah, it's it. good. Finally. Let's get the fuck out of here. Time I to, to let loose night. and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? 
annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. So, <laughs> if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob? He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you put it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. When you get his handle, hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Mm -hmm. Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold on! Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Oh... All right. Do we go to the lodge or are we taking the scenic? Scenic route. Scenic route. Someone's someone's getting spooked in the scenic route, dude. Oh yeah. So, so yes. Scenic route. All right, so we're taking the scenic. Right, Auto. Oh. Yeah. Sure. It's What's the the it's, I'm just riding for it to just be the most normal, no enjoyable technology. ride ever. I kind of thought it was nice Pure to be on. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. literally called the scenic route straight up i have no idea what they were talking about oh i'd be sarcastic <laughs> should we be supportive she... or sarcastic to this to her i personally would be sarcastic she said uh abby said she liked being away from technology and emma said speak for yourself my subs need me Oh, how'd they even get by for two months without you? Uh, yeah, two months. I will have you week. know that I have a very loyal and engaged Maybe subscriber base. I provide very important and educational lifestyle advice in the form of entertaining and hilarious video monologues. They rely on me. Oh, totally. You're a big deal. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure they're going to be, like, really happy you're back. My favorite spot? The fire pit? <laughs> the island. Mad secluded, right? Is... Is that smoke? Should we tell someone? Mm, no, the Huns are coming. Looks pretty contained. <laughs> it's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should... We should probably... Yeah, you know, get back. Oh yeah, worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave without you. Well, no, they're probably like all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick, waiting for you. All, everyone, same. Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey. Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place <laughs> is, like, patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No! <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? 
wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up on to the... Oh, right, 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 here. Let me, um, like the ugliest let me get it for you. I can take care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. Man. We can both take care of our own bag. Thank you. Damn. I'm back. Cool. I'm back. Yeah. Uh, uh, Abby. Do you need... Yeah. Can I... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you just toss that shit on the ground. <laughs> hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was Wondering listening to a podcast, you. actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you? Okay, if <laughs> anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my right. god, you are so childish. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> look and smell yeah, like a butt. Ba, 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 no, ba. It's, a, it's a paranormal <laughs> podcast. Th this episode was actually about this place, really enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Oh, I thought you don't know it. about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking, dumbass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. <laughs> I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are, like, reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son. Silas? Or kill you, or something. I don't know, it's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haga Tori. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. <laughs> Dude's face is the stuff of nightmares. His Bro, face just is his so smile. Punchable. It's so creepy. Fences are supportive. <laughs> yeah, supportive, bro. Yeah. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for <laughs> life. You gotta be careful mm -hmm. with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, do bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Get those butts in gear. Sorry, Mr. H. That's yeah, funny. That's actually a play on his scream song. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies' ball as ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh. Why is your face <laughs> like that, man? Does everyone have a stroke? Hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. Yes. But, you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. <laughs> Yo, Grab Mr. H. Piece. What's up, DJ Any Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Come on, that's like super unchill. Hey, dude, I'm like the chillest flipping bro in the whole world, man. <laughs> I just need some tunes for the ride, man. <laughs> All right, that's enough. 
Five minutes? Like, like five minutes, that's all I need, man. You said no, Dylan. Okay, yeah, I know, but I was just... Let me to the van, okay? Ha, 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 ha.